Hello again, friends. This is the second Sunday in our 40-day journey of Lent, heading towards Easter. We'll begin today with a prayer by Martin Luther as we open our hearts to God, seeking his love and passion in this day. Look upon your servant, O Lord, weak in faith and asking for your strength, cold in heart but seeking the warmth of your love, assailed by doubt but longing to trust you, abounding in sin, yet begging to be filled with your righteousness now and forever. Amen. Well, 1,600 years earlier, the Apostle Paul was also praying about the love of God to be rooted in our hearts as well. And so we pray for ourselves and for our church family as well as our own circle of family and friends and those who don't yet know the goodness of the Lord. We pray that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. We are always in need of God's cleansing and healing, and according to James 4, 8, we dare to approach God with our sin. It says, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. So we I now ask God to change us, remake us like himself. Loving God, you hate nothing that you've made and you forgive the sins of all who turn to you with the desire to leave their sin behind and have you changed them. Remove the blinders from our eyes so we can see ourselves as you see us. Take from us all those things that keep us from being compassionate expressions of your love to all we meet. Give us new hearts and minds so we quickly turn from our sin and with humble hearts, Welcome your power to heal through Jesus and your gracious gift of forgiveness and restoration. Enrich us with your grace today. Nourish us with your blessing. Amen. Our success in this day comes as we follow the familiar instructions found in Proverbs 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Well, Lord, we're here today with open hands and open hearts, ready to depend on you to help us through the day and all it will bring our way. Oh, give us light and strength, O oh God, to know your will. Guide us by your wisdom and support us by your power. Unite us to yourself in your love. Keep us faithful to all that is true. Help us to come to you often throughout the day for guidance, strength, provision, and protection. Take our hand and lead us. As we face tough choices and hard situations, help us to keep in mind that we are beloved by you. We are your children as well as your representatives to the world around us. Help us to live today in a way that brings honor to your holy name. Amen. And we end today with the wonderful words King David gives us in Psalm 19. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Well, let's have a wonderful day honoring God.